Hello fellow collectors, Jambo Comics back again. Just a few more things from the collection I bought and some stuff about my favorite comic book villain. Before we do that, let's do that. No children please. Probably guess who my favorite villain is by who we've got sitting here on the backdrop. But, we, like I said, we found a few more things in that collection I bought that I just didn't put up yesterday. So we thought we'd put it out today. I mean, look at that. That's a beautiful Frank Frazetta cover on the Vampirella anniversary. 25th anniversary cover there. Virgin cover. Very nice. Very cool. Frank did some great stuff. Very cool. Also had a couple of Supergirl in it. One in Adventure and one in the own title there that I'm going to put in my collection. This one's not too great a shape, but it has an awesome cover. Supergirl with the Medusa head. Turning the heroes to stone. Pretty cool. Scary. But I'd probably look too. Alright. Adventure Comics. This is number... Let me see here. 415. like a bad wedding day for Supergirl. Stick that in the collection. Help me finish that off. Also found a my pretty nice copy of that. Incredible Hulk number 104. With the Rhino. Nice Marie Severin cover. And it's a pretty nice shape. Had some uh, problems here at the spine but all in all pretty nice colors look good always like that issue I'll see if this one's better than the one I have in my whole collection if it is we might trade out and had a nice red Sonya number one that was a Probably a VF Plus. 8085. Maybe even a 90 if you pressed it or something. But of the Frank Thorne art. It's very cool. He did some great work on this title, Red Sonya. Check that out if you get a chance. Very cool. Another Vampirella that was in there. Jim Silky is the number one. It's a silver anniversary collection. That's really nice cover. I like that. Very cool. And this was in there, and I definitely already had one of these, but just thought it was cool. It had a lot of Golden Age reprints in it. Had some uh, Cave Girl. Torchy, Sky Girl, of course, Phantom Lady. Good stuff. Good reads, all of it. And it's my favorite villain, Doctor Doom. He was the first Marvel villain I really checked out and stuff back in the day when I was a kid. And I don't know if it's that or just stuff fact I kind of like the character and stuff the way he was been you know wrote over the years he's power crazy he wants to conquer the world and wants revenge on Reed Richards but still has a kind of small touch of nobility about him too he spends time learning uh, black magic and stuff like that to try to 
free his mother's soul from the grips of Mephisto. I think they touch on that in the uh, Astonishing Tales series he was in back in the early 70s. There's a giant size super villain number one. Super, super villain team up, I should say. This was a very good series. I like this. Uh, we got all of these, but uh, yeah, there was really cool. It had a lot of good art throughout the whole series. I think this had some great John Buscema art in it. Very cool. Roy Thomas wrote a lot of these. And they reprinted in these uh, giant size early editions here, the one and two. They reprinted some uh, Golden Age Submariner and stuff like that in it. So, if you've seen those, you can get them. They're worth getting. Uh, this one has some old Golden Age reprints in it too. I think that's a nice uh, Gil Kane cover there, I think. Very cool art throughout the whole series. This was in pretty nice shape. Here's number one of the regular ongoing series. That's pretty cool also. John Busey Martin that. Number two. Great art. Gil Kane again, I think. Number three. Buckler, Joe Sinat. Kind of cool cover there. The Fantastic Four. And number six. That may have been the first appearance of the Shroud, I believe. Pretty cool. Number seven. in it. That was pretty cool. Iron Man and Doctor Doom armor against armor. Yeah, Doom was always fighting the Fantastic Four, but sometimes you cross over and go up against the Avengers and some of the other teams, even the X-Men sometimes. That was number 10. Uh, Red Skull and Cap on the cover there. It's pretty cool. Great little series. I was reading through some of these again. Pretty good stories in them. Number 11, still fighting with the skull. Captain America again. And number 12. Final battle there with the red skull. I think Doom ends up beating the skull. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Number 13. Some of these need new bags. The bags are getting kind of crinkled. They've been sitting in a box for a while. Number 14. Oh, a lot of the Avengers. I think it was John Byrne in, uh, cover on that too, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty nice. Number 15. This one had some Wally Wood art in it. It's like I said, there's a lot of great artists in this series. And good stories, too. 16. And the last of the series was 17. So it's a pretty short run on this series. I mean, you can pick them up, and they're pretty cheap. 
uh, you know, for the, just thought it was a great Bronze Age uh, series there. And some pretty good reads. I was going to say on this issue here, it has some uh, Larry Lieber art and story in, on the front of it there. Um, on the inside, this is the Gene Colan cover. But uh, yeah, Larry Lieber art and story inside. And uh, he's Stan's brother, of course. A lot of you already know that. And it had a, a Submariner a Golden Age story in the back of it too by Bill Everett. Good stuff. Really worth getting if you see this book. I think it's going to go up when uh, Doctor Doom comes back to the Marvel Universe. Hopefully pretty soon. I hope they do him a lot better than they did in the last few movies he was in. Because he's a great character and yeah, deserves a deserves to be done better in a movie. Well, that's it. Uh, nothing spectacular. Just was rummaging through some stuff in the comic book room thought I'd share it with you appreciate you stopping by to look at it and as always hit like and leave a comment if you like and subscribe push the subscribe button and have another video up soon and as Deanna Troy says subscribe Animal Comics out. Have a good day. Thank you.